In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating mole fraction in a gas mixture. The equation for calculating the mole fraction is to take the number of moles of whatever gas you're talking about and divide that by the total number of moles of all of the gases in the mixture. So we're going to say the mole fraction of gas A is equal to the number of moles of gas A divided by the total number of moles in the mixture. So to calculate the mole fractions of these gases, we just need to know how many moles there are of each gas. And this problem is giving us the volume and the temperature of the gases and then also their masses. The volume and the temperature are information that we don't need to solve this problem. We have the mass of each gas in grams, and all we have to do is a simple gram to mole conversion like you learned how to do a really long time ago. Now, one of the things that might be a little bit tricky for this problem is if you're you know, not comfortable with the names and you don't know what the formula is from the name. If that's the case, if you're looking at these names and feeling kind of uncertain about what they represent, just Google it. Dinitrogen monoxide is N2O, and sulfur hexafluoride is SF6. So we're going to begin by converting the 4.66 grams of N2O into moles of N2O. One mole of N2O is, remember to do this, we're just going to add up the mass of the nitrogen and the oxygen atoms, and that's about 44 grams per mole. Of course, with Alex, you don't want to approximate molecular weights like I just did because that, you know, um, sometimes means that the answer is going to be rounded incorrectly and it will end up being wrong. 0 0.1059, I'm going to leave four sig figs here for now, 1059 moles of N2O. And we need to do the same thing for the sulfur hexafluoride, 17.9 grams of, of SF6 convert that into moles of SF6. And the mass of sulfur hexafluoride is 32 plus 6 times 19, 146 grams per mole. So this works out to be 146, 0.1226 moles of SF6, assuming that I'm doing my math right. I might be adding these numbers up incorrectly, so you know maybe I am, but the process is correct. So the total number of moles of gases here is 0.2285 moles. And that's what we're going to plug into this part of the equation right here. For the mole fraction of N2O, we're going to take the moles of N2O, 0 0.1059, and divide that by the total moles, 0 0.2285. And that works out to be a mole fraction of 0.463. Alex wants three sig figs. So remember, there's no units on mole fraction because the moles cancel out. 0.463. Now if you've done this, if I've done this problem correctly, the mole fraction of sulfur hexafluoride should just be 1 minus 0.463, which is 0.537. But it's always kind of a good idea to just double check that um, calculation to actually do the math on it. It's just one way of verifying that you've got your answer correct. So I'm going to write that out. SF6 is 0.1 226 moles divided by our total moles, 0.2285. And my calculator says 0.567. So it looks like I probably did this correct.